Hello and welcome to the We Are Cunard video blog. As I'm sure many of you already know, we have a very important event coming up next May when, yes, the Togs are coming back on board Queen Victoria for a return trip. And today it's a great pleasure to be able to talk to the Togmeister himself, Sir Terry Wogan. So, uh, first of all, thank you for giving up your time. Uh, it's great to talk to you and, of course, lovely to see you again after the last magnificent voyage. Well, first of all, um, it's no trouble to give up the time for children in need. It's no trouble to give up the time for Cunard because you've been such a fantastic support to us. And you, you did us so well on the last tour, which was really a privilege and a pleasure to be on. I had great fun on that because, of course, the togs were there. Your people were all tremendous. The welcome was, was warmth itself. We had a marvellous time in the theatre, and it's a magnificent theatre. I must compliment you on that. It would do credit to the West End. But uh, the bit I liked best, apart from meeting the togs, was I woke up as we came through the Straits of Messina, and the sun and the sun came up, and it was just a fantastic experience. Now, what was the biggest surprise for you? Because you, you haven't been on um, a Cunard ship or an ocean liner for quite some time, have you? <laughs> so, no, it was my first time on, on the uh, Cunard, and it was a wonderful experience, terrific and in a lovely, lovely suite, which had a wonderful time. And as I say, when I arrived, uh, it was Malta. And I, as we left Malta, and the wonderful harbour, and for that, it was fantastic. But, so that was great. I was looked after like I was some kind of important person, which I liked, of course. So what were some of the highlights for you for the, of the last trip when you came on board? Well, as I say, the letter, leaving the letter, coming through the Straits of Messina. But the main thing I really enjoyed, of course, apart from Having, having dinner at the captain's table, which is always very grand, and he was terrific, the captain was wonderful. But um, we did two programs, two of my morning shows, from uh, the lounge. And that's wonderful, to be able to do that and look out at the Mediterranean Sea and be surrounded by my togs, who uh, were all wonderful. And had it. They, they seem to be having a great time. We should actually talk a little bit about the togs because there might be one or two people who aren't too familiar with togs. How does one become a tog? One becomes a tog through generally old age. <laughs> <laughs> one becomes a tog at any age. It just, it's something that happened by a kind of process of osmosis that um, in my previous incarnation as a broadcaster, I used to have the twits, the Terry Wogan is top society, and they would follow me around and throw things. and. Um, the togs seem to kind of come out of thin air. Terry's old geezers. Terry's old geezers and gals. And initially, of course, they, they would swarm around me. But now they're completely independent of me because they form their own clubs and their own websites. And they are fantastic people. They raise so much money for children in need, around about three million at the last count, over the last couple of years, yeah. with the Janet and John thing, with Cunard, and all the thousands of people that rally round and help children in need, but the togs have been absolutely embarrassed. I'm terribly proud of them. You know, if and when I ever leave uh, to my eternal reward, at least I will have left behind the togs, and, and I'm very proud of them. So what's it going to feel like going back on board Queen Victoria next May with a ship full of togs? Apprehensive. <laughs> I shall be apprehensive, because, you know, it's a kind of love-hate relationship. They don't know whether to hug me or attack me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, it'll be great. The you don't actually have to actually sign up, though, to be a TOG as such, do you? No, no. As I say, you kind of sense it, right. that it's time for you to be a TOG. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it doesn't necessarily... We have TOGs of a, uh, just born. But they're TIGs, really. Right. Terry's young geezers. Uh, uh, but they, they mainly TOGs on a board ship. And they're terrific. They, they fling themselves into the spirit of it. They're, they all seem to be friends, and it's a, it's a wonderful camaraderie. And as I say, I'm very proud of them, proud to be part of it, and I love coming on. And our thanks again to QNAR for giving us this opportunity to, to take to the bounding main. And they'll all be there, of course. Canon Roger Royal will be there, and Janet and John will be there with many a racy tale, and old Alan Dedicote with his bird impressions. <laughs> and, and karaoke evening in the bar. I was going to say, what, some of the features we're going to see again. Yeah. Um, whether you like it or not. We, <laughs> and a few new surprises, I'm sure, along the way. Well, I don't know whether we can ever match the surprise of last year, which was Barrowlands Boyd <laughs> coming up through a hole in the stage, playing the piano of the 
while we sang the hippopotamus song. <laughs> it's going to be very hard to top that. Well, I have to say, I, it was one of the things I really enjoyed was when you came on the stage for the very first time in the Rock Hall Theatre and your jaw dropping to the ground when you suddenly saw the immense uh, size and this grandeur of the theatre. Well, it's, that's, that's what I said. I mean, any West End theatre would be proud to look like that. As I say, the audience, of course, uh, seemed to be mainly togs, but there were a lot of, of others there who wouldn't have known a tog from a hole in the ground. But they managed to stay. I don't know what they made of us. I think you gained a few more togs along the way, actually, last time. So coming to next uh, next year, May next year, and of course um, people can uh, guess can book straight away for that. For you, what are the bits you're looking forward to most of all? I'm looking forward to the, just the fun and the frolic of it all, and, and the fact that everybody seems to have such a wonderful time. And hopefully it will be as happy a gathering as, as last year's. But yeah. There's nothing not to look forward to. Me and the Togs and the Tigs and the other passengers aboard this wonderful ship and all your great staff who look after us so well. Well, you are known, uh, talking about the staff and looking after you, and you talked about the captain's table, you are known a little bit for enjoying the sort of culinary delights. What gives oh, that well, away? I have I no idea. There the snorkers, my, possibly. It can't be my racing <laughs> snake figure. Well, we're looking forward to seeing, and of course, the, the whole purpose of the event, apart from obviously having a lot of fun with the Togs and yourselves yeah. and all the Radio 2 gang, is also to raise money for children. And that's indeed. the thing. That's why we're doing it. Yeah. And that's why you're doing it. And that's why we appreciate what you do. And I think you're, you're joining us about sort of halfway through the voyage again, I think. Yes, I, I'm, I'm, apparently uh, nobody's laying on a, a little boat, so I'm going to have to swim from the shore. But I'm prepared to do that on behalf of Cunard, children need <laughs> And the dogs. <laughs> well, thank you very much for doing the blog today, and uh, thank you so much for your time. We're looking forward to seeing you in May, oh, if not before. My pleasure. Thank you.